Thank you for joining me for Carbon Chemistry. Let's take a look at the elements in living things. So the elements that are found in living things contain carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. otherwise known as chinops. Of these six elements though, carbon is the most special. Carbon is special because it can bond in many different ways. Carbon has four valence electrons and this allows it to form four bonds. These four bonds can be single bonds, double bonds, and triple bonds. Here is a single bond. It is formed when one pair of electrons is shared. This is a double bond. It is formed when two pairs of electrons is shared. And this is a triple bond. It is formed when three pairs of electrons is shared between carbon atoms. These three types of bonds allow carbon compounds to come in many different shapes. There are three carbon backbones, straight chain, branch chain, and ring. This shows the different types of backgrounds, straight, branched, and ring. Let's look now at compounds of living things. Any compound that contains carbon is called an organic compound. And these compounds can be small or large. The small micromolecules are made up of two or three atoms only, salt, NaCl, and water, H2O. Large macromolecules are made up of many atoms, carbohydrates, lipids, otherwise known as fat, proteins, and DNA are all large macromolecules. Here we have some carbohydrates. They include sugars, starches, and fibers, and they're used as a source of energy. They contain the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These are some lipids, otherwise known as fats. They include your oil, waxes, and steroids. They are used as storage of energy and include the elements car carbon and hydrogen. Here we have our proteins. They include our amino acids and they are used to build and repair body structures and regulate processes. They contain carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. Last, we have our DNA. But don't let the name fool you. DNA is made up of thousands of atoms, and it's used as the blueprint of the cell. It contains carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Thank you for watching about carbon chemistry. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to visit me at adventuresinistem.com.